Well, everybody, a warm welcome. How good was the weekend? Well, and we've got another fantastic hour for you with JMC Designs. It's going to be the best of. We got some great goodies at fantastic prices. Before we get into that, I'd like to introduce you to the lovely Julie. Hello, Julie. Julia. Uh, Julia, uh, I'm okay. so sorry, that's Julia. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, coming all the way from uh, Scotland. Yep. How long did it take to drive down? Uh, I don't know. We broke it up. Yeah. So we stopped in Perthshire and dropped my daughter off. Yeah. Um, and then I think we were like six, six hours. Ooh. So I think it's about eight or nine in total, something it's like that. <laughs> yeah, it's been Thank a long time. Thank you so much for coming down. It's all right. It's been fun. Um, do you know what would be nice? Because this is your second time live on TV. It is, yes. So do you want to just tell us a little bit about your story, your route into crafting? Yeah, it's been a sort of series of fortunate events, yeah. really. Um, it wasn't an expected path. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I was started drawing. Um, as I was getting help with severe anxiety okay. and um, I was encouraged to draw and then when the person was seeing the drawing she was like you really need to start sharing these you've got to be brave and start sharing them so I popped a few on social media yeah. and then I kept getting messaged saying can we play with these can you please make them can you please turn them into something yeah. so I was like right okay so I think June of last year yeah. I set up my company okay. and I just did downloadable images yeah then I went to a craft retreat, which was absolute bliss, mm -hmm. <laughs> lovely, um, and met Denise, who yes, demonstrates yeah, here. Yes. Yeah. And then when she saw my social media, she was like, you need physical product and you need to be on the telly. So she made a few calls and the next minute I had the buyer on the phone and I'm going, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's great. I had nothing at the time, but I was like, yeah, yeah, that's great. I'll do that. Um, spent all my husband's savings to <laughs> to put the first collection together. Yeah, and now we're here. History. That's it, yeah. Do you know what is so nice? Julia was saying uh, just before we went live that you've watched Hoshanda since day one. Yeah. Day one. <laughs> yeah, so I've seen yeah, it. I tuned in for the first way one. Way before you'd even think you would be standing here Yeah, Yes, I've company. never ever thought that this is what I would be doing. It was, yeah, as I said, it wasn't part of life's plan really. I sort of fell into it by accident, but I'm no, quite it happy. It was <laughs> meant to be. And yeah. the funny thing is there'd be viewers right now watching and who knows, in the next coming years, two, three years, you could be standing at Ho Chanda too. So many crafters have your journey. And I, I've talked to a lot of crafters mm -hmm. who've come from a point they've got into crafting to help with anxiety. Mm -hmm. uh, it just gives you a bit of mindfulness, calmfulness into mm -hmm. your life. We're going to go down the counter. We're going to see you demonstrate, which yep. I can't wait as well, dear. <laughs> uh, right, going to start here. Now, because it's the best of, what we're doing is bringing you previously best-selling uh, items at a great price and we've actually got new bundles as well with them. So two flexi payments of £30.95. and pence. This is your JMC Designs Steampunk Stories, the complete collection. You've got stamps, you've got papers, you've got pads, you've got stencils and you have your word ephemera. All hand drawn, so there is such a beautiful provenance to uh, the story. You're getting the imagination, and this is, I think, the unique selling point for JMC. It is Julia herself, because she's an incredibly gifted artist. And the papers are stunning, by the way. If I just show you uh, the designs, and it ties in with the theme and the thing, the style that you get with Julia. So having a look here, the colors are stunning. So these are the papers and when you start building up, but also I would imagine, Julia, the papers give you, I think that's upside down actually, the papers give you a little hint as to if you're looking for some uh, inspiration on how to get the most colorways uh, designs out of your, uh, your images. Look at that. So those are your papers. But then when you consider the stamps that we are getting in the mix as well, and the ephemera, I'm going to get to ephemera, uh, the word ephemera in a moment, but look at the stamps. Aren't they stunning? I'll just show you a few of the inspirations coming through here. So is this your style? Have you found your, there are certain companies and you just think, yep, this is me. You find yourself. There is a huge amount of quirkiness to your style as well. Yeah. Julia, <laughs> love this. A bit strange like myself. <laughs> uh, what? No, do you know what? Unique. <laughs> I think is the worst way to describe. We are getting busy for this option. Look at these. I mean, if you wanted to go mixed media, should we give a mention to it? Is, have you got a design team? I do indeed. Um, so we have Jan, Dawn, yeah. Denise, Emma, Leslie, Shona, Laura, Angela, and a big shout out to Felicity, who's Jan's granddaughter, age 10, and she has made some of the samples as well. Felicity, I'll let you know. Look, okay, I'm going to look out for Felicity. Actually, I'm going to read a few names. This one's Jan. Here we have That's got Sarah. Sarah. Yeah. I love this. And do you know, 
you're so good at giving us space to then go on and colour in ourselves. So you've left us a little bit of room to make our own mark. Beautiful characters though, and you can tell the design team have had some fun bringing all the components to life. So just going to have a very quick recap because we have got more to show you, but in this bundle you're getting five of these fantastic stencils. So the bubbles in there, you've got the light bulbs, um, so you've got the cog in there, you're getting 20 sheets of the paper, you're getting all of the stamps which we're seeing here, so lots of stamps, and you're getting the word ephemera. Now with the word ephemera, and this to me is just, it's a small touch, but it gives you an idea of the personal, the amount of personal touch that um, Julia has put into all of the kits. You get an envelope, uh, sorry, not an envelope, a postcard, which you can see here, and that is Julia herself. So there we go. It's actually a lovely little postcard. So they come with the word ephemera, and the word ephemera, brilliant, because you've got, if I pop that down, and I have to lean over, I'm conscious of that, I'm not going to make a mess, but you've got all of the words just ready, 65 pieces in total, to stick to a project, and then you decide its destination. Lovely, great. Details on your screen. Twenty-one, uh, sorry, no, sixty-one ninety is your price. Saving ten pounds. Eight six four eight four seven. Your item number. We're going to move on. We have more. Uh, got to tell you a little bit of backstory here. So, Julia, I'm right in saying the first time you brought this bundle. The first time I brought the Toad Stool Tots, it sold out in thirteen minutes. What? And it was a five o'clock show, so I was unable to get hold of the, you know, the suppliers that yeah. I that produced my stamps uh -huh. because it was after working hours. A lot of people missed out. Yeah. A lot of people missed out and a second show was pulled. So we've we've brought it back today. There's not a lot, but we've brought it back. <laughs> have brought it back. You can get hold of this bundle. We had, after the show, we really did have a lot of viewers getting in touch saying, please, can we get hold of more stock? So here it is right now. You've got 10 pounds saving. You've got two flexi payments of 26 47 and you're getting six of these A6 stamps and you're also getting the 8 by 8 papers to really do them in just, uh, do it justice. 20 sheets of the uh, papers, there are 160 GSM, four different designs, look at these, so you're getting five of each design. We're busy for this, a third of the stock's gone, it's going to be a first demonstration, hopefully, if it <laughs> lasts, I hope it lasts. Going through there, just showing you the, uh, the papers. There you go. And I'll show you the stamps as well very quickly. I'll just show in the reverse. We can have a little look. So you have got these beautiful clear stamps in the mix. That's just one of those, but great size uh, too. But so imaginative, original of the house there. Right, going to move on. Busy for this option. You are getting all of those stamps. I'm conscious of that I didn't show you all the stamps individually, but here's the designs that you will be getting within those stamps. We're going to be playing with it for our first demonstration. 553762, your item number. The characters are, let me find the characters. You've got to see them. Where are we? Here we go. So it's the characters too that you'll be having in the mix. But obviously, you're going to bring these to life. This is the stamp, and then it's up to you how you do bring them to life. Uh, we are limited stock for this option. No way. All right, <laughs> Bezzy, we knew it would be breaking a record, Julia. <laughs> uh, so, 52.93 is your price. Two flexi payments, 553.762, your item number. OK, we're going to move on. We have another bundle for you. Uh, and this is kind of where, am I right in saying, Julia, where it, it began? Started, yeah. Yeah, it started with um, Hattie Harris. Hattie Harris. Hattie Harris. She's the one with the big hat that looks a little bit like the Hatter. So I drew her. She was the first one I shared on social media and had people asking. There's and my Hattie. daughter named her. So. <laughs> Hattie Harris. Hattie Harris. What's yeah. your daughter's name? Kezia. 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 Yeah, she will that's be watching. She's that's got a granny great name. Kezia is a really. Where's that name yeah. from? It's Spanish. It's and apparently, it means beautiful. Didn't wow. know that when I named it. Kezia is yeah. a lovely, different <laughs> name. Uh, hello to Kezia. She'll be very proud of your mum. She's an incredible <laughs> artist. And let's just have a look. There is Hattie Harris. This to me sums up why. Um, why Julia is such an incredible artist and she is so unique and you can see it here. I have uh, a rule whenever I invest in anything with regard to my crafting, I want something that's original. This has the personal touch. We're not talking about stock images here. If I pop that down, you've got something that has been ima imagined, imagined so beautifully by Julia. So uh, you've got original artwork, 
from Julia. And in this mix, now not only are you getting uh, the stamps in there, you're also getting the A4 paper pad, which is stunning. So, also, you can get the paper pad available by itself if you do want to get an extra one. And we're seeing all the designs here, actually. So in that paper pad, you've got your toppers to play around with. But it really is embracing. And actually, it's nice that it's included in this bundle because I'd be using this as a little bit of a guide and inspiration on how to get the most from my stamps because you are getting those A6 stamps in the mix, too. So we've got different topper sheets. And then we go on to the artwork. Now, come on. That is absolutely stunning. There's such a serenity to the design that you're getting here. Uh, I really get a sense that, Julie, you're passionate about color and about yeah. fantasy. You, like, you use your crafting to, it's escapism. Yeah, I think I always just create little worlds. I think yeah. whatever it is, it creates a little, a little world that you can Taking your own direction. These yeah. A4 papers are so Can I just good. say something about these papers? Absolutely. One of my design team, Dawn, she yep. does this series where she likes to take a product right. and see how much she can make out of it. Uh -huh. So she took that paper pad and took half of it. Yeah. And just using blank card and a black pen, yeah. she managed to make 34 cards. Just so if you'd from the paper pad, half but that's of it. half of it. So for wow. the full, so for the full paper pack, that would be sixty-eight cards, yeah. which works out twenty-four pence a card. And we have not, not even to factor in the stamps that Good. you're getting that as well. Just so then the papers. You can go on and recreate and uh, imagine your own designs as well. Really busy here. Twenty-one pounds and some changes. Your first flexi payment. If you do want to split the price in half, you're saving twelve pounds. You're getting the most beautiful stamps. Where it started. Curious Wonders, and then the paper pad as well. 047-589, your item number. Now, we do have some more papers for you. It's Steampunk Stories and your Toadstool Tops. So you're getting both of those here, $17.98 your price. We really, in presenting this show, and a lot of people sort of gravitated towards the counter before the show and were having a little look. I love colour, and you can see here, the designs are stunning. These are papers you will want to play with and then you can always go on Julia and create your own design so you stamp over it yeah. and personalize look at these so they are absolutely lovely 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 papers just to, there you go you've got your toastal tops in there too. So if you do want to get hold of this pack, you're getting both the Steampunk Stories and the Toadstool Tots. How many papers are we getting in total there? 20 in total. Uh, 17.98 your price. 784-046 your item number. Okay, so we got pick and mix number. Actually, I just want to clarify, Katie, I'm sorry uh, to ask Katie, my producer, is that 20 per set? So 20 for Steampunk, it's 20 in total. No, okay. 20 per 20 per collection. I would thought, yeah, I would have yeah, thought so. so. It's 40 yeah. sheets in total. I thought, I, I did think that. So <laughs> it's going to be 40 sheets in total. So it was just our details on our system were wrong. So you are going to get 20 for uh, the steampunk and 20 for the toadstool. So 40 sheets in total there. So really good deal. Yeah, yeah. that because I was saying it was 20 sheets when we were offering the yeah. paper, the other <laughs> stuff. So that made sense. Okay, so we are back to our curious wonders here. Now, look at this as a pick and mix for $17.98. You're choosing any two, and this is a really nice way to explore Julia's designs. She is an incredible artist, and I'm instantly gravitating down here. Look at these characters that you're able to pop into your basket. $17.98, your price, 255-1919, your item number. What I would say to you is the best way to really get a sense of how good these stamps are and how much detail that uh, Julia's incorporated into it. I will show you one, because I'm looking at the back here. Can I just show you this? It's the little touches. Look, you've got the snail in there. This is what I love about Julia's designs. It's my first time actually presenting a show with Julia, but I did watch the last time Julia was on, and she's just so good with her imaginings. Uh, okay, so popping that down. Uh, now, we have got some news on the Toadstool Tops bundle. Sold out? Has it sold out? It has sold out. Uh, but we have got some more good news. Uh, we have got some... Okay. We've got some more. We haven't got a huge amount. It's going to be dispatched from the 14th of September. And I really need to stress, 
we, it's just the way it is. We did manage to secure some more stock, but it is not a lot. So uh, there are odds are it will sell out again. So if you did miss out on this bundle, if you want to get hold of it, we're going to be demonstrating right now with Julia. Uh, now's the time to pop it into your basket. It is on extended dispatch. What are we going to do then, Julia? <laughs> so um, I'm going to make a card um, made out of lots of circles. Okay. So um, this paper is not double-sided. Partially right. because I struggle with double-sided paper because I never know which side to use. <laughs> right. um, but on this particular occasion, I wanted double-sided. So all I've done is I've cut two lots and I'm going to sandwich those together like so. Okay. So I'll pop that down. And I, I got this tip from Charmaine for Dolly Dimples. Yeah. <laughs> you go in and spread out because it's like um, when you do your wallpaper, you, know, you do something sometimes yeah. and you're like, I know I do it, but I don't know why. Uh -huh. And then somebody says why, and you're like, ah, oh, it makes and sense. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Charmaine gave me a bit of a light bulb moment there. Okay. Right. I'm just going to grab my inks. So why are you doing this, uh -huh. Julia? What, what does crafting mean to you? I don't know. I've done it forever. Yeah. It's like um, I started off, my uncle is an artist. Right. Um, my, my grandparents both... My great grandmother mm -hmm. used to make teddy bears. We had loads oh, of wow. teddy bears. Love we got that. them all the time. Yeah. My great grandmother. My grandmother was a tailoress. My granddad and my mum and my uncle are yeah. very good artists, and my mum sews as well. So you, you really have got a lot of crafty genes. Yeah. And my nan on yeah. the other side of the family, we once made a. Myself and my cousins made a village <laughs> wow. out of margarine tubs and all sorts of stuff and then um, my cousin Sharon and I we decided to put thyme the herb thyme yeah. down for grass that's clever <laughs> it was very clever but yeah. my grandmother's house smelled of thyme okay. for, <laughs> <laughs> for quite a while so I wouldn't recommend uh, uh, so yeah I've just done it forever yeah. just got to give you a quick update sorry to interrupt your that's demonstration okay. but 40% uh, of the extended oh. stock has gone for our toadstool tops it's very busy we said we didn't have a huge amount of stock so it probably will sell out again Right. Sorry, Julie. That's all right. I'm going to try and here you're on me. If I um, this will struggle with the overheads because I'm going to have to get my head right. Well, in that's it. okay. <laughs> What's so, the studio? I know you say you, you've watched Hochanda <laughs> since day one. When you yeah, I know all the lingo. It's like I've not. I've only been here once, but I know the lingo because <laughs> I've watched it. <laughs> get to know the team. Was uh, the studio what you expected? When you came um, in? Yeah. What I found quite because you know um, you you describe it as the Hachanda family. Yeah. And. You know, you can maybe think, oh, that's a bit of a gimmick. Cheesy. But, yeah. yeah, you know, to, you know, it's just what they say. Mm. <laughs> but then when I came for my induction day, everyone was so lovely. And you were like, actually, that's a really good way of describing, oh. <laughs> describing it. That's really true. I'm glad you feel that way. And I do find myself saying it. And it does sometimes come across a little bit cheesy. Yeah. I'm saying, oh, we're Hoche, we are a family. But the vibe here, everyone is so lovely. Right, so yeah. that looks a bit dodgy at the minute, but basically okay. what we do is, if I've stuck that down properly, those are all going to fold in like so. Right. She says. And then yeah. you tip that one like that, and we've created a sort of little pop-out card. Lovely. Like so. Okay. And then I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. Yes, love to see the stamps. Yes. We are limited stock on this bundle. You can see it on your screen, so it will sell out. Uh, if you do want to get it, now's the time to pop it into your basket. <laughs> right, let's try and see if we can do some masking yeah. before it sells out and I have to move okay. on to another demo. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the only demo with masking. So when um, you mask, whatever you want stamped, I'll be able to show you the completed version if we don't get a chance to finish it, so we're all right. Mm -hmm. um, Whatever image you want in the foreground needs to be stamped first. Yeah. So I've stamped that and then I've made a little mask, which I will yeah. I've got some dirty marks there, but that's fine because we can hide those when we start colouring. So don't panic and start throwing things in the bin. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I never throw anything in the bin. Oh, you just like you work round it. You uh, just work round it. Yeah. We have sold out of the bundle, so if it is in your basket, <laughs> please make sure to check out. But you can still get the paper pad, uh, and the rest of the stamps are on the pick and mix, so we're going to continue our demonstration. All right, so I can carry on. Oh, that's yeah, good. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to grab the bigger stamp here. So, as I said, I like to create little worlds. Um, and so I tend to find most of my collections have got little characters, and they've got little houses, and 
little mini characters just so that you can you can take it in the direction you want. I do feel, especially as I've crafted for forever, I do feel that what I like in a designer yeah. is somebody that gives me the ability to be creative. I totally agree. I but want to take stuff and take it in my direction. Yeah. I don't want stuff that is just, I mean, that's my personal thing. No, I think that's thing. A, a really good outlook. And for me as a, a presenter, you can really appreciate when uh, the sign for me is a, of a good designer is somebody who leaves you the space to add your own detail because I would imagine the you do as a designer have to hold yourself back from adding so much detail that the craft has nothing left to do. It is a bit hard to be honest. Yeah. I do struggle. It's when everyone says, and I made it nice and easy to cut out. <laughs> I've not quite mastered that one yet. <laughs> but I do have a cheat for it, which I'll show you in the next demo. Okay. So we're all good. Right, so I'm just gonna put this last one down here. That mushroom is stunning. Thank you. Right. Beautiful. And you add so much personality into all your characters, do you? Thank you. Sometimes it's a bit of a snapshot snap shot into my crazy head, that isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to grab some Echoline pens. I think we've got these on yep. the pole, because we'll these are my absolute favourite, favouritest pens. Well, you so. can choose any two. They are a pick and mix. We will flash the details and you get to see them in action. So the Ecoline, two, uh, pick any two, brush pen packs, uh, 10 pens in total. So you're picking the packs. Uh, that is, they're blocks of colours. Have a little look. You are saving on those as well. And when you see Julia working with them, you'll realise why they are her go-to pen. Yeah, okay. I'll, I will be using them throughout the hour in different ways, so you can see different ways of using them. Could you just show us how you laid the colour down? Yep, that, just so, so I've literally, I've, this is my Bee Crafty blending mat. Yeah. I even cleaned it so that Bev's dad didn't tell me off. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so um, I've just scribbled onto my mat. I think the thing with um, watercolour pens mm -hmm. is just to remember that the pens are a trans transportation <laughs> thing. Yeah. They hold watercolour, so they do everything any other watercolours can do. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, I've come from the north of Scotland, um, so being able to take it conveniently yeah. with me, I've taken it all down here um, mm -hmm. and... I've not had any spillages, I've not had anything ruined yeah. <laughs> in my suitcase. And from your pens, you can scribble them out here and use it as you would a watercolour in a pan. You can... Um, Go directly if you wanted. Yeah, well, I, I tend to use either, when I'm colouring, watercolours or um, alcohol markers. Yeah. And it's funny because I've got very different styles depending on the medium. So when it comes to alcohol markers, I have to be really precise and contained. And yeah, I think of my light source and it's all very, when it comes to watercolors, I, I'm a lot looser and freer and um, just sort of go in whatever direction. Mm -hmm. But then there's certain things that I want that detail with. So I'll show you that in a minute because I'm not going to color all of this up. So I've gone on very loosely like yeah. this and then I would just sort of gradually sort of build up the shadows yeah. um, with a bit of extra colour. I don't think I've picked the breast brush out of my uh, yeah. palette but that's fine. Yeah. So I would build that up and then let's maybe get a bit of blue and I'll do the sky. But when it comes to certain things like the hair, mm -hmm. like I was saying earlier, I still want that preci precision and as you said a lot of my stamps have um, an awful lot of detail in them. Yeah. So to try and do that with a brush, I'll tell you how I quickly do the sky. So I would just slop that all over there like that, mm -hmm. really quickly. No care in the world. And I would keep it quite wet. Right. And then I would just get my rag and pull it up. And I've already got a cloud effect without even Perfect. having to, nice. to think about it. Yeah. So I worked on it last night because that would take me forever right. to do. So. On the snail, we have got the tiniest little leaves on there, and to get in with a brush would be quite difficult. Mm. So now I'm going to just go directly. Go directly on there. Um, same with her hair. Um, I've not brought out. Okay, do you do create with personalities orange. with, say, this little snail we're working on? In your mind, do you have an idea of their personality? Sometimes. Yeah. I think they got called. I th 
Emma, I have to give a huge shout out to Emma actually, because she's sort of, whilst I've not been able to travel because of COVID, yeah. she's come down and done all the um, right. demos for me and she's been amazing. Emma Blake. Yeah, yeah, Emma Blake. She's great. She's yeah. great. So she's she's done lots. There was a purpose to me starting that sentence and I can't remember what okay. it was now, but it'll come back to you. <laughs> Bless oh yeah, you. when she did she did a Facebook Live using them. Yeah. And I think some of the people decided that they were to be called Slinky Slinky and Swirly, I think they went with. Mm. So because it's a pen, I've now been able to come in and put very definite details in. Yeah. Okay. So I would just keep fiddling and keep doodling. Perfect. But in that piece there, we've got that and I would glue that in like so. And then I'll just, I'm going to create a little band, except I've, right, you have to imagine that this is a bit longer, because yeah. <laughs> I put the wrong yeah. bit of card <laughs> in my demo box. And so we'd put that there, uh -huh. and then literally I would put all the bits and pieces like that. That's which such a lovely little And then gear. what I will do, is I will pull this one in that yeah. was properly made. Kay. So the banner slides off like so with all the bits and pieces that we've got on. Yeah. And then we open this up and we've got the little character Julia, inside like that. It's amazing. <laughs> I love your style. Thank I you. I really hope you're enjoying the show. We are having a busy show. This is what makes Hochanda such an incredibly special place to work. The fact that we're able to give a platform to such talented designers. Somebody who, if you did miss the start of the show, Julia was saying she was watching Hochanda from day one. So Julia watched from the very first show and she has it on constantly at home. And to think then, what she would never have imagined when she first started watching, she was just an avid crafter. She really enjoyed her craft. The, However many years later, she would be here right now with her own company and presenting her own beautiful designs. And it really could be your journey as well. So many of the guests started just as viewers, so something to bear in mind. Uh, what we're able to uh, offer you here is such unique designs. No stock images here. These have not been taken from the library. They are all uh, designs that have been hand-drawn by Julia. They're beautifully unique. Uh, they're so imaginative. Uh, and what Julia does incredibly well is open you up to a whole different world. If you treat your crafting as escapism, if you're looking for that escapism, something where you can totally just turn off uh, and throw yourself into a different world, that is what JMC Designs affords. So we're getting all the stencils, so all five of the stencils in this first bundle. I'm just gonna hold up one that's laying down that you can't see. So you're getting all five of those stencils. Then you're getting the stamp, so all of the stamps that you can see down there. So all four sets of those stamps, beautiful characters. The characters here are so great. Uh, let me just try and find you those characters. Here we go. Wait a second, oh, I need a white piece of paper. Yeah, I'll, I'll just show you that. So that is just one of the stamps that you are getting there. So uh, this will be our next demonstrations collection. But look what, this is just one of the stamp sets. You're getting four of them. You've got your feature character, you've got sentiments in there, you've got cogs, uh, and you've also got your border detail too. That is just one set. The amount of small personal touches that Julia has put onto the piece as well. And then when you do see the piece, this is, this is where you really start to have some fun. How cool are these. I'll show you one more and then I know we've got to move on. Very cool. Okay, right, so there we go. You're also getting the ephemera in the mix, so your word ephemera. Actually, I've got a board here. I didn't show that earlier on. So uh, this here, these are all your words on your word ephemera. So you've got all these beautiful words. Mystery, genius, dream, imagination, new world, light, loads of positive stuff. Uh, so those are just allowing you to give some context to your world. And then, you're getting a little postcard. So this is how the ephemera will come. If I just grab that. They come with the postcard, and that is Julia herself. 
Now, a small little touch, but that's what you get when you invest in a small boutique company. It is the personal touch. It's uh, beautifully hand-drawn images, and you've got the flexi payment, 30 pounds, 95 pence. So two flexi payments, saving 10 pounds. If you are interested in popping this into your basket, your item number is 864-847. Uh, gonna move on, you'll notice the counter has shrunk. Uh, we're busy. Now, half the stock has gone for your curious wonders. The papers are stunning. I will talk about the papers in a moment. Uh, oh, and just sorry, there's one thing I forgot to say with that previous bundle. You are getting the paper pad in there as well. Uh, so sorry, that was my fault. Now, you are getting the beautiful stamps in here too. This is where it began, Curious Wonders. In particular, the very first character that Julia drew was you have to, Hattie, Hattie Harris which you can see just down there, that is Hattie Harris. We'll get a, a better look at Hattie. Let's have another look there. There's Hattie, and who's Hattie Harris joined by, Julia? We've got Alex. There's Alex. And then we've got Harriet Hart in another set. Amazing. <laughs> so you're getting your stamps, but then, and I will just show a couple of inspirations just to give you an idea. The design team worked so hard, so uh, you guys are great. And I will try and read out names where I can, where I see them. So there's your Alice. But what a wonderful Alice. There's such a purity and innocence to it. Look at this one from Sarah. Love that. Using Hattie Harris. And then we have another one here. Who's this character? Is this the one you're talking about? That's Harriet Hart, yeah. Yeah, there's Harriet Hart in another collection. So let me pop those down for a second because you are getting. Uh, four top sheets. So Harriet Harris, uh, Harriet Hattie Harris. Ha not ha Hattie Harris. Who's the heart? Harriet Hart. Harriet Hart. There we go. Sorry. Harriet Hart. Uh, you will find her with the A4 papers. You are getting this A4 paper pack included. Four of your toppers. They are 280 GSM with the topper, so really good weight to those. And then you're getting 40 backing papers. 40 backing papers. 160 GSM. But look at the quality that you're getting of the design. So you're getting this beautiful paper pack included with your bundle. I mean, for $21.98, the fact that you're getting the stamps and the papers, I think this is a great buy. And I just, I love Julia's style. This is, this is my kind of crafting. It's bright, it's vibrant, it's imaginative. You could see this. Um, I think your designs lend themselves extremely well to journaling and scrapbooking mm -hmm. and albums as well yeah yeah like this the 43.95 is your price i mean just for the stamps alone i think you're winning 43.95 is what you would expect to pay for the stamps having that paper pad in the mix too makes that a great price you are saving 12 pounds 047 589 your item number now if you did miss out on the toast or tops and you just want to get the papers we got two bundles uh it comes with the steampunk uh stories 20 of each and so 40 in total and you are getting a beautiful array of papers i mean really nice designs from i'll just show you a few but this gives you the idea of the uh, kind of designs so it would help if i drop it in there yeah, i gotta make life easy so there gives you an idea of the kind of designs of papers that you are getting within the set so 40 in total and it's the only way now you can get hold of the designs from the Toastal Tops. So if you did want to get maybe a few more designs from the Toastal Tops, good way to do it, my favorite coming up. How cool is that? Love it. Nearly get that one. Okay, so there we go. Uh, 784046, your item number. Pick a mix. Uh, we are starting to lose options with regard to our pick and mix. So uh, what just sold out? The party top just sold out, and I think party top was the toadstool that we were just playing with. Was yep, it? Yeah, yeah. So it was toadstool. We were just that's gone. So uh, a lot of the options with regard to the pick and mix are limited. So my advice, if you really want to get your favourite, you've got to do it sooner rather than later. We will have lots of sellouts with regard to that pick and mix, and it's an indication of how busy we are. Two five five one one nine, your item number. Okay, we've got one more thing to share with you. Uh, we've got our stamping, oh, stamp sorry, stamplementals. Uh, tell us a little bit about the stamplementals, Julia. Yeah, so this is a concept I've, I'm tri I've trialled. We've actually got two more coming in October. So, uh -huh. <laughs> so when I, when I um, 
make any project, I always end up stamping. Yeah. And I always end up hunting for a background stamp. I always want a sentiment and I always want a floral element to sort of put to finish a piece. And so I find myself rummaging through all my background stamps, then rummaging through all my floral stamps, and it took me longer to find everything I needed. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought, well, what if they were all the one stamp plate? What if um, you could just pull out one stamp plate and you've got your background, you've got your floral element, and you've got your sentiment all there? It so saves that rummaging time. So it's like fundamentals, stamplementals. Yeah, it was my husband that came up with the name of yeah. that one. He's, he's quite good when it comes to it words. It took me a while to get there. I got there. Yes, it's a very that, clever name. So, yeah. yeah. So it's hopefully something that I'm going to expand. Um, that's the very first one that Brilliant. I did. And when I spoke to some members of my design team, they're like, do you know, I used to do a lot of stamping. And the reason I don't now is because I have to rummage yeah. to find what I want. Whereas you can just pull out one no stamp rummage, set and yeah. you've got everything you, you need. I've and seen. as I said, we're bringing edition two and three in October. Thirteen so. ninety eight for two for both sets is very good value for money. Yeah. Really good value I know, value I think I was... Uh, <laughs> I think I was unwell and <laughs> when I wrote you, the prices out. <laughs> being a regular to Hochanda, Julia, you will know that as a viewer, we love it when there's a bargain. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and this is no exception because uh, we've gone from 30% of the stock to 40% of the stock, uh, stock in a blink of an eye. A lot of you are popping this into your basket. It's an absolute deal. And what I do love is the concept because Julia is a crafter through and through. She didn't want you to rummage. She's giving you everything in that set to get going. 13.98 is your price, saving four pounds, 502.056, your item number. We're gonna head back to Julia now for our next demonstration. What are we gonna do? I am going to play with some pretty gets gritty je crackle gel. Uh -huh. I bought this off a of Chanda the other week. <laughs> when, you're so nice. When our Lynette was on, I was like, yeah. I bought it. So nice to have a And I love back. it. But what's lovely hearing you talk, uh, because we've used the blending plate from Be Crafty, <laughs> yeah. we're using now uh, Pretty Gets Gritty. So you are a true Hochanda fan. I am. Yeah. I am. I've been watching it uh, That's all the time. Yeah. yeah. So I love a little bit of crackle. Mm -hmm. I'm just taking that. But I've struggled in the past because um, there's so many there's so many steps to it. Yeah. Um, and then I have tried these one step crackles. These mm -hmm. are on the pole as well, I think, if yeah. you want to pop them on. Um, so. Um, you found like with the one, the traditional yeah, the one traditional step. Yeah, the one step yeah. ones, I wasn't really getting the crackle that I wanted. I was always uh -huh. left a little bit disappointed, to be honest. Right. So I tried these and absolutely everything, everything Just is getting work. crackled. It's like, it's my latest yeah. addiction. Um, yeah. And what I do love as well is there's a huge variety of colours. Mm -hmm. So it's not even just like a transparent crackle. You can get yeah. crackle in all sorts of colours. So I am popping this through. We have got details for the crackle on your screen. I remember, so Lynette's first show back, mm -hmm. uh, it was a one day special. She brought the crackle and everybody was blown away by them. Oh, I know. They are absolutely amazing. Mm. I'm a little bit addicted. So I've mm. only got one set of the four colours, um, but the rest will be falling in my basket as <laughs> soon as <laughs> as soon as I get a chance. So I'm also um, just sort of tapping. So this is me using one of the stencils. Yep. These stencils as well um, have been produced by um, Bev from Be Crafty. Yep. Oh, cool, brilliant. So, so her dad has made these for me. I'm just you know the quality them. you're getting there. So produced Absolutely. by Be Crafty, but for JMC. So for yeah, so it's 350 micron mm -hmm. mylar. Yeah. I think. Is that That's my right, Myla. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I like these stencils because they are really thick. And when I use stencils, I mostly want to be doing mixed media with it. Mm -hmm. um, I do a little bit of inking, yeah. but you need the you need the depth for yeah. your for you your um, to get the effect. Yeah. So you need the depth for that, and, and so that's can, why I, I said, pretty yeah. please, can. <laughs> and we can emboss them as well. Just before Absolutely. we move on, Julia, can I just to give an update because we have Absolutely. had a sellout. Uh, the Stampamentals, great yeah. name, they have now sold out. I knew they would do. Uh, we've actually had a lot of sellouts on the Pick and Mix as well, so please go onto the website to see what's left. But uh, Pick and Mix Flying, Stampamentals have gone, and this is a concept that I really hope Julia brings more of in the future. So there we go, they have sold out. Well done to everyone who got hold of those. Cool. So I've let that, oh, this is one that I've done earlier, and I've let that dry, and I'm just going to get a little bit of gilding wax and I'm just going to rub over that because it just helps to bring out the crackle. Yeah. And you just really see it. Absolutely love it. Nice. And as I said, um, yeah, it's become my latest addiction. 
Well, hopefully Smith. in the future. Have you ever had a, a chance to meet Lynette? Not in person. Okay. We, we speak to each other on a fairly regular basis. Okay. So every day we're sort of like blethering um, and crafting together with all brands. Oh, um, nice. So there's a few of us. It's a good so group crafting with all brands. It's brilliant, yeah. yeah. And th I've been very fortunate because they've sort of like let me in even though I'm a newbie. <laughs> and I get on, we all get on great. So brilliant. yeah. But I hope to meet her in person at some point. Okay. Yeah, she's lovely. Really <laughs> Excellent. Nice. So that is me. Pop that aside. Now, I said that yeah. I tend to have twiddly bits uh -huh. <laughs> on my stamps. I've not been able to cut that out to make it yeah. simple to cut out. But there is a way of doing it. Right. Before so, we show that, okay. could you lift up? You know what we just done? I'm conscious of the fact, just so the viewers can get a good look at can what you, we did. Perfect. If you just hold that. Because this is normally where the presenter would grab it from you, and we'll get, get a little shot. Sorry, <laughs> just take a moment. But it's worth seeing. And then, if you just give it a little wiggle, tilt, yeah, yeah forward, that's perfect. That's it, yeah. See, that's stunning, and you really see all the crackle. That's awesome. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Sorry. For that. Yeah, it's all right. Okay. No worries at all. So, I'm going to take my pens again, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to scribble some out. Now, um, I'm doing very, very messy colouring. I'm literally just going to, because I'm going to cut it out. I'm not thinking about the lines. I'm just yeah. going to go right across the whole lot. Okay. And I quite like doing this because I'm going to pull in a bit of yellow now. All of these are going to look slightly different yeah. because of the way they've gone it. Because um, the way you've put the colour on, but they're all going to tone together as well. Okay. Um, and it's a good way. I like everything to have multiple tonal values. I think you should yeah. have like a highlight a mid-tone and a shadow yeah. and but you don't have to get yourself all caught up with light source and doing it just even doing it so that you've you've got different colors in there I think it just makes it all seem a bit more yeah. lifelike now yeah. because I've gone over the edges I'll get one that's actually dry now if I take my scissors yeah. I'm going to cut round this that I can cut round the edges of all those yeah. twiddly bits but because the colour's gone outside the lines it doesn't actually matter no. so I'll, some people cut with the white edge and I try and do that but I find that some parts are nice and even and then some parts are wider than they should be and some parts kind of go closer to the image than you should mm -hmm. and it can look a little bit uneven yeah but now even though that's an intricate design I've managed to very quickly cut that out and because the colour bleeds off it it works. We've done, now, that's actually a really good example, like technique wise, when you're fussy cutting out, just having that bleed over colour, yeah. it's effective, very, very effective. And like it's, that. Yeah. So, um, I think one of the best things to do when you get your stamps is just to sort of chop them out and play with them. Yeah. Um, I would like to say that when I drew these, I had this in mind, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been a happy accident from right. when it came to starting to craft. So I've got my little micro chirp. Yeah. And this I've is the character micro chirp. <laughs> micro chirp, yeah. Brilliant. From steampunk. Yeah. I love steampunk because it's just the ethos of it. It was, you know, it was at a time when people dreamed of flying and the future. All, and work, yeah. yeah, but they believed in the impossible and yeah. they achieved the impossible. And I just think that is quite a lovely mantra to work with. And when you look at yeah. what's behind the theme of steampunk, that I just think that's that it's lovely. It's a very inspiring. You've summed that up so nicely. I think as steampunk, I'm going to borrow that from you in the future because <laughs> that was the, the steampunk. It was believing in the impossible. Yeah. And that's what we can do with our craft because nothing's impossible. Yeah. So when I cut out all these little flowers, so I, I basically what I tend to do is like I have there is I just sort of stamp loads of bits out mm -hmm. and then I start colouring. And when I started doing that, I was like, oh, a little micro chirp right. could yeah. be a peacock. So a I'm just going to... Yeah. Sorry, I'm making sure that I keep this. It's okay. I'm learning. It's still only my second outing, so... The second outing, you are My getting second outing, so star. it's like... <laughs> Absolute A star. Right, so I'm going to stick this... Well, actually, I'm just going to let that rest a second. Let's get a little micro chirp. Mm -hmm. And it's also why my steampunk range has a bumblebee on it. Because um, I love bumblebees as well for the exact same reason. Because they, they shouldn't be able to fly. Yeah. 
because you know their bodies are too fat and their wings are too small. But they, aerodynamically, they they shouldn't they be able to do it, and yeah. they do. And I, again, it's that sort of believe in the impossible yeah. um, ethos, which is why I've also ended up with bumblebees in my steampunk range, although it's not a common thing that goes in it. Wow. That's why it's there. Do you know what I love about your style, though, <laughs> uh, you do, Julie? You don't you don't play by the norm. You don't just offer something everyone else does. You use your you bring your own uniqueness to the table. My own strange head. Right, I've just. Um, put a whole load of glittery thread there. It looks a bit of a mess just now, but I find it, it's a real nice mixed media tip for adding texture mm -hmm. to it. And also, as we said with my background, that uh, lots of crafts were in the mix that I've tried most crafts. So sewing was in there at one point and I've got loads of threads left over. So oh. <laughs> it's a good way of uh, adding texture and using what you've got in your yeah. stash. It's like, like a true crafter. <laughs> So I'm going to pop that. This is a bit lovely down. little piece. Your characters are so quirky; they jump Thank off the page. Thank you. Really Very like strange. That. <laughs> unique, unique, unique. <laughs> Crazy head. I quite like looking at things and sort of turning them into what they shouldn't be. So it's like yeah. with the steampunk, um, a lot sort of go down. You know, you've got the cogs and the roses and the lace and all of that. But I've tried to make the cog as part of her dress or the yeah. dress has become the bell. You know, um, so trying to... I, I like to sort of take everyday objects and then turn it into clothing for yeah. some bizarre reason. But yeah. <laughs> so what I've done with these stamps, she didn't start off as a peacock. Mm -hmm. I've used the flower stamps and this. And this is what I mean about taking your, letting your creativity take it into whatever direction. Um, I'm just trying to have a little look, where am I? So the, these little leaves that I'm playing with now is this sort of daffodil light bulb stamp that we have there. And I, but I've coloured it in green mm -hmm. and I've just taken that front leaf off there. Right. And we so have... now I have some leaves. I've also taken the little light bulb off the top. Um, Getting the most from your set. Uh, we have got the details for the big collection on your screen and it is proving to be an extremely popular option. So if you do want to get the stamps, the paper pad, the stencils, the word ephemera, uh, two flex payments of £30.95, and pence, you are saving £10 very quickly as well. I've got to squeeze this in because we are, uh, you can see the pick and mix has dramatically reduced and we're having even more sellout. So uh, this is what's remaining here on our pick and mix to show you and you can see how drastically uh, reduced that is. $17.98 your price, you are picking your favourite two. So I'm so surprised this is still in stock because this one is uh, one we used in our first demonstration. That wonderful, is it gone? Okay. Sorry, that one's gone. Have any more gone, Casey? Okay, everything that you're seeing now, it is limited stock. So every one of these remaining stamps that we're seeing here are limited. How cute is that bunny, the white bunny in there? So all of these are limited stock now, if you do want to get hold of them. Uh, oh, that's the Harriet Hart. No. Who's yeah. That? Is it Harriet Hart? Yeah, Harriet we go. Hart. Got it right. Yeah. Uh, Harriet Hart, if I just squeeze that in. So Harriet Hart, part of the collection with the Alice. There we go. And Hetty Hat. Hattie just, Harris. I'm going to show. Hattie <laughs> Harris. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, they are unusual yeah. names. Don't no, worry I'm, about it. <laughs> They're not normal, presenter. really, are they? <laughs> terrible presenter. But there we go. There's Harriet Hart which you're seeing there. So all the stamps are limited stock. Uh, they will start to fall. If you want to get any of these, now they are all vulnerable. So please don't miss out because you're picking your favorite too. Uh, there's our micro tweet uh, in there as well, which we've just been working with. There's some great stamps left over. I'm very surprised that some of these are still in stock. All right, we're going to go back. I think we've got one more demonstration yep. to share. Right, so I'm going to work in my journal. I'm just mm -hmm. pulling out the stuff. I've, um, there's a completed there. Ugh. The completed tag of what I was just working on is just there. Okay. So if you want to look at that whilst I fumble about with bits of paper. Lovely. Yeah, we'll, we'll get a, a little shot <laughs> of that. Okay, right. I'll just move on to... Oh, look. Okay. <laughs> We're at odds. Right. There we go. So. Right. 
We are going to now go on. So we're using the Steampunk Stories to make the tag. Yep. Yeah. So that's the tag there. So that's her all right. finished. Right. Um, and now we are going to use the Curious Wonders paper pad mm -hmm. to do a journal. Perfect. Let's do it. So I've scribbled again some of my Echoline pens onto my um, Be Crafty mat. And I'm just literally going to stick that onto a page. I always think with a page, it's just once you get colour on it, then you're started. Yeah. <laughs> you take away that feed of the feed of the blank page away within seconds and then you're all good to go mm -hmm. so and then I'm going to use my um, stencil yeah this is actually a really cool stencil even if I say so myself <laughs> so this stencil the circle one and this one so there yeah. we go are designed to overlay so if I put, I'll just put these down so we can see what we're talking about and here. This is from our steampunk stories. This is from the steampunk stories, yeah. and they're ace. Okay. Even if I say so myself, right? So we put that there, and then this goes directly over it. So if I get a slightly different colour now, I now turn those circles into cogs and rivets. Mm -hmm. So they work individually. But together, oh, that's nice. so they lay layer up pretty well. the detail. Yeah. Oh. So that's that. And then the other thing I quite like to do when I'm journaling, this has sort of like been a recent thing, is sometimes the page can feel quite big. Yeah. So I'm going to sort of section it off so that I am just working in a little square. So I'm just going to take a bit there and a bit there. And we'll stick that down. And now all of a sudden your surface to work in has become an awful lot smaller. Yeah. And so it doesn't feel quite so daunting. Mm -hmm. um, but then there's little bits that sort of spill out over. Okay. over. So this has sort of been my new favourite technique in a journal. Yeah, I like that. And then with this paper, I think the reason Dawn was able to get so many um, elements out of it is there's just so much sort of fussy cut elements that mm -hmm. you can take so when I when I designed it I wanted you to have your sentiments I wanted there to be um, sort of like the embellishments within it so that if all you could get was the paper pack you're good to go yeah so I'm just taking some of these little elements and popping them down like so just to sort of have random bits there and then okay. these circles I have chopped out again from the paper pad so this is it although I've sort of you know I've got that scene with Alice with the three sons because you know why wouldn't you have three sons mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but I've chopped those elements out and now I'm building a completely different scene from the same papers yeah. so you don't have to stick with what I've put there for you you can just chop it all up and do your own thing uh, I do believe we are approaching limited stock for our Curious Wonders bundle. $43.95, you're saving £12. You are getting such a beautiful mix of papers. The papers are stunning and the stamps are just divine. They really are. They're so imaginative. So those two together for your first flexi payment of $21.98, I think is a great buy. Okay. Okay, back to you, Julia. So, yeah, so I've kind of created you... my little square and created my base. Julia, we've got uh, two minutes left. Okay, that will kind of do. I was going <laughs> to grab some stamps out, but what I could do was I was just, oh, that's a really fine one. Um, I like to, I would have stamped sort of little hearts, but instead I'll just draw some. Okay. Um, so I would have, I've got in the, I'm not sure what's left now, mm. in the Curious Wonders stamps, there's sort of like all the card icons. Yeah. So I, I'd stamp those out, but what I'll do. And then the other thing I like to do uh -huh. is um, a shadowing. I just think it really, really lifts a page. Anything in life, as I said, has the three multitones, if I kind of do that. Yeah. You can see how much darker my hand is yeah. when there's something in front of it. Yeah. Um, and especially in a journal, when you want to keep things flat, but you still want depth and dimension, adding that shadow element makes a huge difference. Makes it pop. Yeah. So I would then build this up down one side and it's just really going to lift that page nice 
And what I can do when we get down to the wire, if you let me know when we're down to the wire, <laughs> I can flip to the page that I did beforehand. We unfortunately are down got to the wire. Left. <laughs> there we go. And yeah. that's what it looks like when I've uh, Stunning. combined I love, everything I love together. the characters you brought us. Julie, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Really mean that. Thank you <laughs> Thank so, you so much. much. Uh, do you have any plans to come back again? October 12th. Right. And can you give us a sneaky peek at what? Perfect for any crafter. We've okay. got some characters that like crafting, strangely enough. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to bring us more? I love the idea of the crafter mentals. Are we going to get more? Yeah, of those? there's two stamp mentals. Stamp so we've got, mentals, yeah, the stamp mentals. We've got yeah. edition two and three coming out with that as well. Okay. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much. We You're appreciate it. Because I know you, you drove down, so it was yeah. a, a long old drive. So that's down, it. We're yeah. back down in a month. So yeah. Well, yeah. Safe journey. <laughs> Thank and you look very much. To you back. You're absolutely Thank amazing. You. Can Thank we follow you on social media? Yes. I'm Julia McNeil Crafts on everywhere because I was a crafter before I yeah. stood by um, yep. for my company and I've got a group um, JMC Crazy Craft Hive. Do make sure to follow. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you for your company. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>